What I was gonna do was, with rigging it, was I was gonna have, use a knuckle boom. I was gonna have our steel fabricator just fabricate two forks that went in there, came up just kind of like what this structure did, and then came back over to the center with a hook and a, cr and a, cr and a cross beam. You know, it was gonna be a you know, $750 piece of rigging, and then we were gonna put a hook, a, a log hook on that, and then a 120 foot knuckle boom crane. A sheetrock attachment, but it's not really, like meant for this exactly, and it's a little bit like dancey, and I yeah. didn't want to do with that. Standing here in the side yard of 848 Dune Road, um, we're about to install the Marvin Sky Cove that's been sitting here for about three weeks, and this is the route the other day that we brought it down. And uh, we brought it on our skids here, on our, on our Kubota. We drove it around here on the skid, brought it all the way down the side yard. And uh, Arnold, who's one of our supers, is fantastic at operating that equipment. I was actually able to fork it up onto the deck over here so that it could be set in place right on the edge of the pool in the deck, so it could be set in place and brought up into our rig to be rigged up. Listen, this, this, you're running your drywall into here. Okay. Yeah. And this is to, you put in a rough opening here, you spray in this area. Yeah, we're not gonna spray foam it. Pack it with mineral wool and, um, and, and Sega tape. We'll just spray foam your tube. Yeah, the instructions call to, to fill, the, this, fill, the, fill this tube and that okay. tube and all of that with. We're about to give this a test lift, test the straps, make sure they're oriented properly, make sure that all the rigging is good. We're gonna hang the unit up in the air a couple feet a couple inches actually and just let it swing and see what it does, make sure it's safe and then we'll put it back down and get ready to bring it all the way up. It'll be alright. It's a little bit of an interesting apparatus but um, it's alright. We're gonna see. Always when you're rigging something you've gotta give it a test rig, let it hang a little bit, see what's up. So. You worry about the lean? No, no, it's leaning because it's not exactly centered. Yeah. It doesn't matter because I'm crooked. I don't care about that. Yeah. I just don't want these to jump off. That's all. I have the HVAC guys across the street at um, Denise at um, at seven eight seventy five. I'm gonna go there and come right back. Right. How you guys feel? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll show you where it is. They're right here. Everything right here in A, B, C, D order from the book for you. I think you got kit A right there. These are the four weep strips. I just want to see where on the plan they said to put those. In terms of what? Flashing? No, uh, th this right here, 
gets a bead of silicone, of Prosoco on it. Okay. Um, all, all, on all uh, three sides. All, all the white gets it. All the white gets it, nothing on the black. So this will all get Prosoco on it. They want you to put um, the shims four inches from the edge and then um, evenly spaced inside. That's a chin? Okay, apply it for the Yeah, so it's like... Okay. Oh, you got a marker on you? Yes. Okay. So it's like a situation like this. How, how are you guys out there? You good? You need to be at a Prosoco on the flange, and then you can go in. So these are the uh, these are some plastics and nylon shims that Marvin provides, and then these are actually pretty interesting. Um, maybe uh, Stu, you could tell us what the thought is on these. But um, these are weep strips. Uh, I'm assuming this is kind of like what you do in a brick wall cavity, where it's just like a piece of fabric that can provide a capillary action, so that any water that might sit on that sill will just get you know conveyed outside. Um, so that's what these are. These are just some pieces of felt to bring the water out, um, and then this is just to sit the window up above those. Tie it back to because you could winch this thing back in. You could use you could you could just crank it in too. Well, they still gotta get this thing on If he just picks up that corner, it'll come out. Just pick that corner. Right? Is that the way so the problem is we're we're tight on the head, you know? Okay, I will. I know, I know. No, no, Sally! Okay. 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 Hola. Dale. Más, más. Eso, eso, okay. All right, before you slide it in, Arnold. Hold on, before you slide it in, the pressure on the corner toward this, the, 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 the dam, you have Prosoco right here. Hold on a sec. Hang tight, hang tight. I'm going to pull on here on it? Yeah, really you're, you're on. Alright, now let's take this side. Okay, that's... You're in, you're, you're in on all sides? Yes. No, yes, you can get the board out. Oh. Okay, so now we got that side on. Let's get this side out. Yep, yeah, because when they were putting the leverage on the sill, it it deflected a little bit and, and got to right to the tear point. Far right shin, she actually pitched up. Yeah. There's a weighted unit as it slides back out, pitch back in. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Uh, and then it's also inch into the building, you think? No, no, it's almost there. You know, the the um the the, the, the sill's a little bumpy from the prosoco also, and the, those those shims are kind of just you know rubbing on that. They they over yeah they over applied the prosoco, so you've got like maybe like a eighth or inch of it. You shouldn't have that much, so it's like there's like just some waves in that. So I think that's why that's pumped up. Yeah, we have room a little. We have. There. More than that, you know. Um, yeah, so now we're going to start, you know, leveling and such. And see. A little low on that side, yeah. You want to wait for the four foot level or we want to wait? Yeah, we're getting a four foot level up here? We are, right? Yeah. yeah, this is a little bit of a small level, yeah. We should. A little more. Okay.
I think you're good. You want to check? One more. Well, this way we're not good, but oh, okay, this, this no, no, I'm on, all right, I'm on a freaking lug. Oh. Good. <laughs> good. Oh, so the, fir the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use um, these holes. One, two, three. Okay. That's just going to get a one lag bolt each. Mm -hmm. You just make sure we check the level again one more time. That's just going to hold it. Mm -hmm. um, just one thing is uh, they want you to put um, a horseshoe shim behind every bolt. Okay. 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 Yeah. I guess so. So, miramos esto para ver cuál drill bit vamos a ocupar. Did you tell me which drill bit for those three leg bolts? Hold on a second, one, one question at a time. Um, Arnold's question was first. Uh, quarter inch drill bit. Quarter inch, okay. And you're using the three eighths uh, by three inch with a washer. Cool? Yes. The guys are just flashing the flanges in and they'll start putting all the accessories off, but we're structurally installed. Everything went really well. There was a major concern by both the dealer Riverhead and also Marvin, the manufacturer, as this is one of the first, if not the first Sky Cove installed, not just on the back of a house, but very high up, roughly about 25 feet above the ground. And also in a location where there's no access from behind to use a telehandler or a boom lift or anything like that. So our team here at First Dunes has been working on various options for a few weeks to determine what was the best method of doing this. And our subcontractor here, Planet Design, came up with this method and we approved it and had an engineer look at it. And basically what we did here was we built a scaffold out of wood with a beam on the top. We had a chain fall on there and then we rigged up the Sky Cove unit and we just basically lifted it right up as if it was on its fork hole locations for the forklift and um, very gracefully dropped it down onto a platform and slid it in the, in the hole. Everything went really well. The hardest part I think was that we got the platform that we were sliding from on the outside got a little bit jammed and it took a little bit of manpower inside just with a, a lever to just you know break it free. Um, but the unit went in with no damage really nicely. I, I think the install came out really great and um, I'm really happy with it and I think it's delivered beautiful views for everybody over here.